week. <laughs> Just moved it a bit. Nice move, but didn't quite get his feet together underneath him the way he wanted them and moved it that extra inch and referee right on to play. Blaine hits the basket 22 to 11 at the end of the first quarter. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with more high school basketball on the Comcast Varsity Sports Zone. Lanes leads by 11. Cox's shot doesn't fall. Rebound taken away by Martise Gill. 17 is our halftime score. We'll be back with some stats right after this. I'm Paul Spahala with me, Bob Lampin, and Bob Scotch Plains. Everything as advertised. They are just a talented team all the way around. And as we mentioned, not just the two big guys up front. They've got talent from the number one man all the way down to the number 12 men. They came out, and they just kept running new guys out there. And uh, I think it's eight different players scored in the first half. And you really didn't see a drop-off when they went to the bench. So they're, they're loaded top to bottom. The big test now is can they keep getting better and better as the season goes on. Let's head to the uh, scorer, leading scorer board for both teams. First of all, for the Raiders of Scotch Plains, not surprisingly, right. Lance Thomas is at the top of the board. He is an outstanding shooter. We'll be back with third quarter action from the Lewis Rotino Gymnasium at Union High School right after this. Our two coaches, Dan Doherty out of Scotch Plains and Anthony Ziobro, the head coach of the Union Farmers, they actually were football coaches, assistant football coaches together at Rawway High School when Rawway went into the state championship. So that is where those two know yep. each other. Take That's our halftime stat board, and as you can see, it certainly is going to favor the Raiders. Uh, no doubt about it, 45-17. Uh, take a look at turnovers, though. 10-7, so Union did force a lot of turnovers. Uh, Scotch Plains turning over 10 times. But rebounding the big statistic That's at the, the bottom of the board, 23-9. And uh, when you look at a team like Scotch Plains, that's your biggest worry coming into a game. How do you get the loose balls? How do you stop giving them a second and third and fourth shot at it? Walker gets it started for the Raiders quickly. Forty-seven, seventeen. Two-point shot, doesn't go. Nice rebound and tip in by Will Cox. Well, wide open on the weak side. Uh, we talked about rebounding. That time, Scotch Plains a little bit lazy in the 2-3 zone. They didn't put a body on him. Weak side, open layup. And a little sloppy with the ball, with the exception that the ball was deflected by the farmer. So it will stay Scotch Plains basketball. Still release on the free throw. 25 again, your final. We'll be right back. 